Oh, this would be easy. I know horses. Go on then, impress me. There are two types of forces, pushes and pulls. And whenever something moves, it's because a force is acting on it. Bigger forces create bigger movements and smaller forces create smaller movements. And no force means no movement. Excellent. I am impressed. Now tell me, if I was to stand very, very still and make no movement at all, does that mean that there are no forces acting on me? Correct. Ever heard of Isaac Newton? Gravity? The apple falling on his head? There are forces acting on me. Gravity. I'd forgotten about that one. Yep. Gravity acts on everything on our planet, and it's a pretty big force. So it should, according to you, be creating a pretty big amount of movement. OK, let me think about this. Well, I know that there are two types of forces, pushes and pulls. And when gravity acts on me, it's trying to pull me down to the centre of the Earth. And? And the Earth creates a force equal to and opposite to that of gravity. So gravity pulls me down and the Earth's surface pushes me up. And as long as the two forces are balanced, nothing will change. In fact, whenever forces are balanced, nothing ever changes. So what about when they're unbalanced? Well, unbalanced forces can create change. And the greater the unbalance, the bigger the change. Excellent. Take a gold star. Now watch this rocket as it takes off. The thrusters are pushing against the Earth, trying to make the rocket move up, whilst gravity is still trying to pull it back down. The rocket still moves upwards because the thrust is the bigger force. So the thrust wins? And it moves quickly because the thrust pushing it up is far greater than the gravity pulling it down. Now here's an easy question for you. Could you throw a tennis ball as fast as a rocket? <sighs> Duh. No way. And why not? Well, because my arm isn't as powerful as a rocket booster. Exactly. You and the thrusters are fighting the same force, gravity. But the thrusters produce more force. So they can make the rocket move much faster. Right. Now look at how the speed of the rocket changes over time. This graph will show you how its speed changes with time. The x-axis, the horizontal line, represents time, and the y-axis represents speed. Hmm, so, time that way, speed... Right, so at the start, time zero, the rocket isn't moving, so the speed is zero. Three, two, one, blast off! When the thrusters produce force, the rocket takes off and accelerates, getting faster and faster. Is that why the line is going up like that? Yes. A steep line like this means that there's a lot of acceleration. But as time goes on, this line begins to level off. So the rocket isn't accelerating as much as it was before? Correct. It's still getting faster, but it's just not speeding up as much as it was before. And now it stopped accelerating and just drifting around in space. Right. And when the rocket's drifting around in space, it's moving at a steady speed. Which means? That its speed doesn't change. It will remain constant. Which means that the line will be? Straight. Absolutely. We can also use this process for something that is falling down. Take this parachutist, for example. Hello. Here she is, about to jump. Now, she's not moving up or down, so we know that her up and down forces are balanced. Time zero, downward speed zero. Three, two, one, jump. Then she jumps, so gravity starts to pull her down. And she speeds up. I mean, sorry, accelerates. Right. Now, at the beginning, she's moving quite slowly, which means that the air resistance she encounters is quite small. Air resistance? Upward force. Oh, OK. As the downward force is larger than the upward force, then she keeps on getting faster. Mm, with you so far. But the faster she gets, the more air resistance, or upward force, she will encounter. So she slows down? 
not quite, because as long as the downward force is larger than the upward force, then she will continue to accelerate, just not as fast as before. But eventually, the upward force will get just as big as the downward force, and the forces will balance. So what do you think will happen to her then? Well, she can't just stop in midair. True. So let me think about this. She's got two forces working on her. That's right. Gravity and air resistance. They're equal or balanced. So the speed of the parachutist doesn't change? Correct. The speed is the fastest that the parachutist can go. It's called terminal velocity. Terminal velocity? That's it. Everything that moves has a top speed, or terminal velocity, that is created when the force trying to slow it down becomes equal to the force trying to speed it up. You know what? What? All this learning has got my to terminal velocity. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to bail out. Geronimo!